Hi everyone! Today I'm going to do a video on hand-drawn flats. And you may be asking yourself, what is a flat? Uh, it's a very important aspect of uh, fashion design and especially fashion illustration. Uh, I'm going to show you an example here. Um, basically a flat is a drawn, either digitally or by hand, interpretation of what a garment would look like if it was laid flat, like hanging from a hanger against a wall or laid out flat on the floor. Um, a lot of portfolios like to apply to design school probably ask for these, so it's important to know how to draw them. Here is what I'm going to show you how to do today. This is a hand-drawn flat. So basically it's a fashion illustration that shows all the details and doesn't have like a body or a croaky uh, filling it out. It just shows like the technical aspects of the garment. So let's get started. Alright, I hope this angle works okay for you guys. I'm going to be moving kind of fast today just because of the 10 minute video limit. It, it's kind of hard to fit a drawing tutorial in. So if you have any questions, definitely just let me know in the comments and hopefully I'll be able to clarify. So for your supplies, you need a pencil. Mechanical works fine. I'm using a drawing one because I can't find a mechanical pencil for some random reason. Uh, an eraser pen or just a big eraser because uh, if you're like me, you don't have an eraser on your pencil, and if you do, you'll go through it really fast. And then I have my two different sized ink pens. So let's get started. I always do that. I leave nail polish marks on my paper. Okay, I'm gonna do just a simple dress today so you guys get the basic idea. I'll be working backwards. Typically, uh, a right-handed person would, uh, you'd be working like left to right and have the front of the garment on the left and the back of the garment on the right but because I would smear it since I'm left-handed, I'm gonna be doing the back of the garment first. It's a little bit harder to do that way, but most of you are probably right-handed, so you'll be working front to back. So let me think of what I want it to look like. I think I'm just gonna do a little like spaghetti strap dress to make it real easy. So I'm starting with the strap. Usually the first line is the hardest to make in the first half of the garment. Usually it'll be the front half, but for me it's the back half is the hardest to draw. Once you get your proportions and everything in place, the next half's a lot easier. So I'm just roughly drawing in details. Like I wanted to have adjustable straps, so I'm just quickly adding those details because we'll clean it up and go over it in pen in a few minutes here. So here's the bodice. So I'm gonna draw the seam The important thing is to get all the technical details in. So I'm thinking, hmm, maybe, I guess we'll do a princess seam for this example. So do the, the back seam, and then here's the princess seams for the back. Then we'll do a simple gathered skirt. Kind of make a little wave at the bottom to show that it's like a full circle skirt. And these little lines at the top represent the gathers. I also like to do a little bit of the front of it as well, so we're bringing the straps around here. Just a vague image of what the front of the dress will look like. Here we go, so nice simple back of a dress. You have to think of the fitting devices and add them to your drawing. All the technical details are very important. So the seams, the stitches. Uh, so I'm gonna add like the stitching for the hem now. And so for the sake of this drawing, let's pretend that this dress has a back zipper. So I'm gonna draw that in. So we'll say that there's a back seam on the skirt and say the zipper ends right there. Just do a little zigzag to represent the zipper. Like I said, we'll clean it up later when we go over in pen. There's a little zipper tab, and there we go. So now that you have the back started on the front, just keep the proportions the same. Once again, I apologize if I'm going too fast to follow along with but I, I made another take of this video before and finished the drawing and everything and realized that I had taken like 15 minutes and I couldn't post the video. So I'm trying to go faster so I don't 
keep making drawings and videos and having to scrap them. So we're adding the hem stitching again, more gathers in the front, and since the dress is princess seamed, add right here. Typically you just do a single line that doesn't go all the way top to bottom to represent a dart. But for princess seams, it goes from top to bottom. And add the straps. See, I extended them a little bit further up than the ones on the back. So I'm just going to quickly erase and fix the proportions. It's usually real easy to eyeball, make sure everything is even, see. The skirt's a little bit uneven, for, but for the sake of time, I'm not gonna fix that right now. I think I'll do like a cute little bow or something and a gather. All right, so once you're happy with your pencil drawing, now we're gonna go over it in pen. So grab your ink pens. I like to do most of it in the larger size and then the really tiny details in the smaller size. Since I'm gonna start with these tiny little pieces for the adjustable strap, I'm starting with my small one. All right, now that those little tiny details are done, I'm moving on to my bigger pen. It might be hard to do this for your own designs at first because you might not be familiar with all the um, little details you'll need to have on the flat. So I suggest just going through your closet, picking out a dress or shirt or something and practicing on that. Hang it up on a hanger, look at where all the, um, all the stitching and the seams are, and then copy that into a flat until you have a good idea of what sort of details you're going to need to add. So there's a seam bottom of the zipper, do a little zigzag. I do plan on doing a uh, digital flat tutorial eventually. I don't have Adobe Illustrator on my computer right now though, so that'll have to wait a bit. I personally prefer the hand-drawn ones just because they're a bit easier and faster. Now for the stitching, I'm gonna use my little one. Just a little dotted line to show where this hem is. There we go. Switching back to the bigger pen now. Little gathers right there. And by no means do you have to go this fast. I'm just doing this for the sake of brevity in the video. By all means, take your time, especially when you're just learning. All right, the stitching. Once you have the ink on it, give it a once over and make sure you've inked all the parts that need it. And then go over it with your eraser. These types of pens dry really fast, so you won't need to worry about smearing the drawing with your eraser. Touch up any areas that might need it if you missed them with the pen. Maybe they need to be darkened. Make sure all your seams and fitting devices are accounted for. And voila, is our finished flat. All right, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Once again, if you have any questions, definitely get in touch with me with my contact information on my channel page or just leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching, bye.